A diamond engagement ring can cost $10,000 or more, which is really turning off millennials. So what are they buying instead? Consumer reporter John Matarese looks at other options so you don't waste your money. Today's younger couples are rebelling against many longtime wedding traditions. Example, the groom not being allowed to see his bride on the morning of the wedding. Another, buying the largest diamond you can afford. Marilyn Monroe used to sing that diamonds were a girl's best friend, but times are changing. We realized that we are going into the marriage with uh, student loan debt and medical debt, and the typical three-month salary wasn't going to work for us to pay for a diamond. Sarah Bray and her husband decided early on they were not going to go into debt over her engagement band. So this young bride decided to ditch the diamond for a pink-toned gemstone called a morganite diamond. So a morganite is a uh, processed stone that is not, um, you know, doesn't have any of the ethical choices that come along with a diamond. Her roughly one carat morganite cost a third of a traditional diamond. But the best part, she says, other women compliment it all the time. So what do other women tell you when they see this? I get a lot of compliments on it. Alternate stones have been around for generations, but many couples avoided them, thinking it made them look cheap. But then celebrities happened. From Kate Middleton's Sapphire to Halle Berry's Emerald, alternative gems are red hot. Store manager Eric Fair says there's no longer a stigma if you ask for a non-diamond. We always say that whatever your budget is, we can find something for you. In addition to Morganite, Fear is selling a lot of aquamarine engagement stones. This is the aquamarine. With a light blue hue. Cost of a one carat aquamarine? So a whole ring like this, you're looking at under 2500 other alternative engagement stones, he says. The ruby and sapphire. Meantime, Fear says millennial brides who want a shiny diamond are now buying lab-grown diamonds, less than half the price of a mined one. This took two weeks to create. This took about a billion years to create. Can the average couple tell the difference between lab-grown and natural? No. And you need testing to actually tell the difference. He says top alternative stones include lab-grown diamonds, morganite, aquamarine, tourmaline, sapphire, and ruby. Sarah Bray is proud of her choice of an alternative stone. It's important to go into a marriage without any debt. So if you're thinking of marriage, feel free to turn old traditions upside down. You'll come off as creative and artistic, and that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, ABC 27 News.